Welcome back to another Monthly Minute Update for Verona Walk. This month we're going to talk about January 2022. Let's jump right in. I'm John C., your local licensed real estate professional. I love serving everybody here in sunny southwest Florida. Thanks for taking just a few minutes to get updated again on this great community of Verona Walk. And I don't really talk too much about the neighborhood in a sense of its location on these videos. I just kind of assume everybody knows where we're located. But for those of you who are watching this who have no idea where Verona Walk is located here in Naples, we are right off I-75 in off of exit 101. If you're headed towards Marco Island. You head about three and a half, four miles, and we are on the left. This gated community is just under 2,000 doors. Everything from small 1,300 square foot single family homes to attached villas that are two bedroom, three bedroom, and then townhouses, three to four bedroom townhouses, all the way up to single family homes that are just around 25 to 2,600 square feet. So we have all those availability models for sale from time to time in Verona Walk. Not right now, because there's only one home for sale in the entire community right now. Just wanted to give you a quick update on that. So before I jump into my seven questions that I'm gonna ask today that we do every month, do me a quick favor, hit the like and subscribe button below. That helps us out a lot so that you get notified as well too. Keeps you up to date on the great community of Verona Walk. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below if you would. That would be awesome. Let's jump right in. First question I'd like to ask is how many homes went on the market last month? So in January, we had a total of 12 homes that went on the market. How many homes sold last month? And that was seven. Now, January is typically a slower month anyways because December when people are shopping and then those homes close in January, people aren't really shopping for homes. Typically in December, they're looking for presents for their kids, grandkids, or their family members. And so the month of January does not normally have a high close rate. But if we compare January 2022 that we just wrapped up and compare that back to January 2021, we sold less. So last year in January, we had 13 homes that closed. If you wanna see the seven homes that sold last month, there's a link below in the description that will take you to the website and you'll be able to see the seven homes that sold. You'll see their price, you'll see the model, and then you'll see a lot of pictures and the street address as well. Interesting fact that I've been watching, four of the seven homes that sold last month sold at or above asking price. I think that's very interesting. I think it's important for you to know when you're buying or selling in the community. It will help you know where you need to be on your list price. And if you're looking to make an offer on the home, it will help keep you in a position to where you're paying the right price for the home and not overpaying. What was the least and the most expensive home that sold? The least expensive was a tie between two homes, the Capri model and the townhouse. Both of them were under contract in under 10 days and they were both they both sold for $412,500. The most expensive home was actually a Carlisle pool home and this home was listed for $799,000. After a bidding war, it closed for $836,000. Still waiting for that one home in Verona Walk to sell over $1 million. I think it's coming up here pretty soon. We'll probably see that happen in the first half of this year. I think we're gonna have a fantastic February because there are currently 21 homes pending in Verona Walk. What does that mean? Those homes are most likely going to close within the next 30 to 45 days. So we will have a strong second and third month of this year. Were there any foreclosures that were sold or listed and there were no more foreclosures listed? One of the ones that are pending right now actually is a foreclosure. It's an Oakmont that was on the market. That one is currently pending and should close here within the next three to four weeks. At the time of this recording, there is a whopping one home for sale right now in Verona Walk. That's it, one folks, maybe one, depends on when you're watching this, there may be zero. Crazy to even think about that because as I mentioned on previous videos here, I've seen it where we've had an inventory as high as 70 to 80 homes for sale and that wasn't even in tough times. So it's interesting that we have one home for sale right now here in the neighborhood. If you wanna click, if you wanna see that home, click on the link below, veronawalknaplesflorida.com and you will see what is available or not available. What was the average days on market? And that was a whopping eight days on market. I think I may have mentioned a little bit of this earlier, but of the seven homes that sold, six of those were under contract in under 10 days. Only one of those homes 
took more than 10 days to get under contract. What percent of the asking price did sellers get? And we are continuing to stay above asking price. It was 102% of asking price. What does that mean? So if a home was listed for 400,000 after the bids or whatever came in on the offers, it sold for right around $408,000. Interesting to know when you're looking to put your home on the market or when you're looking to make an offer on a home, know that most of the time right now, we're still at that position. Most of the homes are going at or above asking price. That's a great home for sale right now in Vernal Walk, and that is your home if you own a Carrington model home. Currently, I have two buyers looking to get into the Carrington model. If you are in one, own one, have a neighbor that has one, know somebody in the neighborhood who is thinking of moving out of one, please have them call, text, or email me. I would love to get them connected with one of the buyers that I have looking right now. The buyers are not particular in regards to whether it has a pool or whatever, Lakeview, uh, they don't really care. They just want to get in for a walk and they want to be in a Carrington model home. Call, text, or email me. Love to hook you up with them and get you connected and help you guys through that process smooth without any type of hiccups. That's what I do. Love serving everybody in sunny Southwest Florida. One last thing, I do a video every month as well too with market stats for Lee and Collier County. So if you would like to know what homes are doing outside of this area of Verona Walk in the rest of the county, click on that link below. I'll post that and you can watch my monthly video that comes out. I also put that out the first week of the month so that you know what's going on even in a wider scope of this part of Southwest Florida. I'm John C. here in sunny Southwest Florida. Thanks for clicking that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next month.